Previously on part one, the first part of Lloyd's plan was completed. Anya has been accepted to Eden College. Now the handler tells Lloyd about the next step. And you has to become Desmond's best friend. Or Anya needs to be the best student and acquire imperial status. To achieve the status, a student must acquire eight stars that are given to each exceptional performance. But for every misconduct, the school will hand out a thunderbolt. If a student receives eight bolts, the student will be expelled immediately. Lloyd calmly listens to the handler. Although it sounds like a daunting task, Lloyd seems confident in turning Anya into an honor student. Elsewhere, Yor is taking Anya to get her school uniform, while Anya explores her new school with her new school uniform. Some kidnappers who misunderstand her as a rich kid try to abduct her. But Yor easily knocks out the kidnappers. Anya is impressed with Yor's martial arts skills and asks Yor to teach her sometime. When Lloyd comes back home, he sees your training Anya. He does not think much of it, but soon he will come to regret. On the first day of school, Parents are invited to the homecoming along with the children. At this point, Lloyd is giving up on training Anya to be an imperial student due to her lack of interest in studying. So, Lloyd tries to line up Anya to be right next to the son of Desmond, Damien. While Lloyd finalizes the plan in his head, Anya hears all of Lloyd's thoughts using her telepathy. The plan was for Anya to befriend Damien. Anya will then be invited to his house. But nothing goes according to plan. Anya stands next to Becky, the daughter of the CEO of a military contractor, not Damien. Even though Lloyd wants Anya to make a lot of friends, Anya soon realizes that most of the kids are snobs. After that, the children are shown around the school by their homeroom teacher, Henry Henderson. The children were told about the rules and regulations of the school. Just then, Damien approaches Anya to ask about her dad. When Anya tells him that he is a psychiatrist, Damien insults her dad for having a lowly job. Anya ignores the insults and asks if she can come play at his house. The two lackeys that follow Damien around, Ewin and Damiel, immediately start bullying Anya. Anya wants to punch the bullies, but she remembers Yor's words. Yor tells Anya to laugh off the insults. So Anya smiles menacingly at her bullies. It turns out that Anya's smile aggravated Damien to his core. He wants to make her pay. As the school tour continues, Damien and his two minions start throwing papers at Anya's head. She still responds with a menacing smile. While Henderson is not looking, Anya delivers the punch she learned from Yor. The punch may not be as strong as yours, but it is enough to send Damien flying off. Henderson hears a ruckus and runs back to check on the children. Anya tells Anderson that the boys were harassing her and Henry. Although Henderson finds Anya's action to be very elegant, he still hands her one bolt. Henderson let the forger know what has happened. Henderson tells the forger that the normal punishment would be three bolts, but she only receives one. Thanks to her elegance, Lloyd's plan is crushed. Anya not only earns a bolt, but also manages to punch the target of his mission on the first day of school. The next day, Lloyd reminds Anya that she must apologize to Damien for her action. Anya reluctantly agrees to do what is asked of her, but Lloyd is not sure Anya will do what she promises. So he heads to the school to make sure that Anya will apologize. At school, Anya has many opportunities to apologize to Damien, but Becky will intervene every time. Becky has grown quite fond of Anya, and she does not think they need to apologize to Damien. 
Lloyd is frustrated that Becky is ruining his plans. So Lloyd infiltrates the school as a waiter to separate Anya from Becky. Surprisingly, instead of feeling angry, Damien developed a crush on Anya and can't stand to be around her. Damien tries to hide his feelings because he still thinks of Anya as a low-class student. Feeling unsure of himself, he runs away as Lloyd watches in horror. Lloyd lost hope that Anya could befriend Damien. At home, Lloyd makes a change of plan and forces Anya to study to earn stellar status. But Damien is inept at teaching and only manages to stress out Anya. Yor asks Lloyd to be patient. Yor explains that it takes time for children to learn new things. Lloyd realizes that he is being too harsh on Anya, so he puts her to sleep. While he is doing that, Lloyd wonders what kind of father he would be if this is actually his real family. The next day, Yor's brother, Yuri Briar, wants to visit Yor at her house. To Yor, Yuri is a sweet, kind person. Yor always felt guilty that she never told Yuri that she was an assassin. But she is not the only one with secrets. Yuri has a secret of his own. Yuri works for the state security services. He is actually a second lieutenant, catching spies from other countries. After Yor tells the whole family about her brother's visit, the whole family works to make the house look like a real family. Yor moves to Lloyd's room. Fine matching toothbrushes. Anya is excited to meet her uncle. But by the time Yuri arrives, Anya is fast asleep. Yuri believes that no one but him has the right to be with Yor. So, Yuri secretly upset that Yor has been married for over a year without telling him. But, as the night goes on, Yuri warms up to Lloyd and realizes that Lloyd is a perfect husband. Then, they start drinking, and Lloyd starts asking questions about Yuri's job. Yuri tries his best to be vague about his career and identity. But, Lloyd already figured out Yuri's identity and has asked Frankie to do some digging. Lloyd already knows that Yuri works for the counterintelligence of Astonia. At this point, Yuri is completely drunk. For some odd reason, he challenges his sister and brother-in-laws to kiss each other to prove that they are really husband and wife. Yor and Lloyd are cornered to comply. But when Yor leans forward and is about to kiss Lloyd, Yuri goes ballistic and stops them immediately. Yuri feels insecure and jealous of Lloyd, so he leaves. The next day, Yuri went back to work. Now he is convinced that Lloyd is a good husband. But Yuri still has a suspicion about Lloyd. Suddenly, he realizes that he forgot to plan the bug in their house. However, Yuri is not the only one having doubts. Lloyd starts suspecting Yor, his fake wife. So, he starts keeping his distance. Yor notices the changes in Lod's attitude immediately. But, she does not know why her fake husband acts differently around her. She thinks it is her fault. When Yor returns home from work, she is arrested by the cower spy unit. They start asking questions about Yuri and Lloyd. Yor bravely defends both her husband and brother. Soon they let her go. But, in fact, the agents are actually Frankie and Lloyd in disguise. They want to find out if Yor knows anything about her brother. After the test, Lloyd feels like he can once again be normal with his family. Back at home, Anya tells Lloyd about her upcoming pay dodge ball match. She has been told that if anyone can acquire MVP rank, they will learn Stella. Damien and his two lackeys are also planning to participate. In fact, they train extremely hard to win Stella, but there is a really big kid in the class named Bill. He is much bigger than the other kid. In fact, he does not even look seven. Bill destroys the entire team with his shots. The last two standing students are Damien and Anya. 
With her telepathy ability, Anya manages to dodge every one of Bill's attacks by reading his mind. But at one point, Anya stumbles, gave Bill an opportunity to use his final move. So Damien sacrifices himself to protect Anya. After Damien is out, Anya is even more determined to win. She remembered the super move that Yor taught her. Anya takes a breath, calms herself down, and sets up the ready pose, but she misses the shot completely and get out immediately after. Bill is announced to be the MVP of the match because he single-handedly defeats the opposing team. However, to everyone's surprise, he is not awarded Stella as everyone expected. A few days go by, and Donya gets her first test. Surprisingly, she fails all the tests, even with her telepathy. The problem is she tries to steal answers from all her friends but had an idea of who to cheat from. The next time, she plans to learn who is good at what subject, then steal from them all. Lloyd is disappointed with Anya's grade. He contemplates whether or not to use his own influence to help her get all A, but he does not want to make her friends suspicious of her. Loin feels hopeless. Then he realizes that studies are not the only way to get stellar. Lloyd tries to make Anya learn music. To his dismay, his daughter is an absolute imbecile. Except for her telepathy power, she is not very bright. Realizing that even volunteering could get her stellar, Lloyd takes Anya to volunteer at the local hospital. But even then, Anya still messes it up. She keeps messing up even the simplest task. Eventually, the forgers are thrown out of the hospital. On their way out, Anya picks up and cries for help from the injured boy with her telepathy. The boy hurts his ledge, falls into the hospital's rehabilitating pool, and has been drowning. At first, Anya thought she would tell Lloyd, but she did not want to reveal her abilities. She then makes an excuse that she wants to swim to rush to the boy's aid. Anya jumps into the pool but ends up drowning with him. Luckily, Lloyd comes to the rescue and saves them both. The news of Anya's bravery is soon to be widely spread. The school eventually honors her with Stella. With this, she becomes the youngest person to earn Stella. Damien feels a bit of jealousy. Anya still plans to become friends with Demain because of her father, but Damien is not very easy to approach. Somehow Anya manages to read his thoughts and learns that Damien loves a dog named Max very much. She believes that if she can get a dog, then she can get close to Damien. That night, Anya asks Lloyd for a cute dog. Elsewhere, in the underground animal shelter, there is one dog that stands out from the rest of the dogs in the shelter. Elsewhere, Lloyd gives a report to the handler who disguises herself as an old woman. While exchanging information, handler tells Lloyd to take on a side mission. Astania troops were plotting something huge. Lloyd has to work on several missions on the same day, aside from his main mission. One day, Lloyd comes home, feeling exhausted from taking on too many missions. He overheard his neighbor talking about him. They think he is having an affair because he has never been with his family, even on the weekends. Lloyd reflects on it. It is true that he does not spend time with his family. He immediately rushes back home and announces that they would have a family weekend next week. To do that, Lloyd has to finish all his missions by then. By the time the weekend comes, Lloyd is sucked dry from exhaustion. He becomes a completely different person due to extreme tiredness. Lloyd can barely stand up. Anya and Yor notice how weak Lloyd is. So, they suggest that they skip their trips. But Lloyd refuses. He wants to make sure everyone thinks his family is real. So, 
they head to the local aquarium. On their way, Lloyd is called for another mission. He tries to deny it. But, it turns out that the mission is at the same local aquarium where he is going. Despite his efforts to focus on his family, the handler insists that the job is critical as it involves a chemical weapon. Lloyd has no choice but to accept the mission. The mission is to retrieve a capsule from a penguin that was smuggled in yesterday. The capsule has plans to create chemical weapons. Unfortunately for Lloyd, his neighbor also visits the aquarium, and Yor asks them to join their family unknowingly. So, Lloyd suggests that they all visit the penguins. But, when they get there, the aquarium is filled with over 200 penguins. Anya reads Lloyd's mind and realizes his mission. Then she uses her power to find penguins with the capsules. She hints at Lloyd by referring to it as a sick penguin. Next, Lloyd disguises himself as a caretaker to snatch away the penguin. But he was stopped by the terrorists, but Lloyd does not let him do so. The terrorists run away to call back up. Anya wants to help Lloyd. So she pretends that a terrorist is trying to kidnap her. So Yor slams the terrorist to the ceiling to save Anya. In the end, Lloyd gets Anya a huge penguin plushie. The neighbor does not doubt the family anymore. But what about the Stellar? What about the dog? Find out more in the next episodes.